So far, we have looked at the mechanical and modal analysis capabilities of OnScale Solve. As our final lesson in this course, we will look at another simulation capability in OnScale Solve, thermal analysis. Thermal analysis helps engineers investigate how heat flows from one place to another in a mechanical system. In this lesson, we will look at the scenario of a cast iron pan on a stovetop and study the heat transfer that occurs through the pan and into the handle. How hot will the pan handle get? Is there anything we can do to mitigate that heat? Let's take a look in OnScale Solve. In OnScale Solve, from the Projects tab of the dashboard, create a new project. Enter a name for your project and click Create. Click the Import CAD button. Go to the Upload tab and browse for the cast iron pan file. Select the bonded contact setting and click Upload. The pan model with the stove burner objects are now visible on screen. Next, let's assign materials. Assign cast iron to the pan and assign structural steel to the stovetop burner objects. Go to the Physics tab. Change the physics environment to thermal. As you can see, there are a few options for thermal constraints and loads. Select power load and pick the three burner solids as the power sources. Assign a wattage of 600 watts and click done. This represents the heat power emanating from the stove burners. Now let's assign a convection constraint to the cast iron pan. Click the convection constraint, and then go to the model tree and expand the pan component. OnScale Solve requires the selection of faces for convection boundary conditions. Select all the faces of the pan by picking the first face in the list and shift selecting the last face in the list. The convection coefficient of cast iron is 10 watts per meter squared Celsius. Click Done. Now that our boundary conditions are in place, let's go to the Simulator tab and click the Launcher button. Once the launcher finishes estimating, click Launch. After the simulation is finished running, click Open Results. In the Results tab, click the global sensor in the tree to see the results. As expected, the highest temperature is reached in the middle of the pan, around 390 degrees Celsius or 728 degrees Fahrenheit. The handle of the pan has a minimum temperature of around 150 degrees Celsius or 300 degrees Fahrenheit. That is too hot to handle. Let's bring in another version of the model that includes an object over the handle that could mimic a silicone rubber oven mitt. After adding the new oven mitt object and assigning a silicone rubber material, let's check to see how it affects the temperature the chef experiences through the handle. As you can see here, the silicone rubber oven mitt helps reduce the temperature experienced by the chef tremendously. The minimum surface temperature of the oven mitt is 62 degrees Celsius or 144 degrees Fahrenheit, which is a much safer temperature to touch than the pan handle itself. However, note that OnScale Solve uses steady state solutions. So the values here depict an oven mitt that has been touching the pan handle for quite a long time. As you can imagine, if you use the silicone rubber oven mitt for a period of a few seconds to pick up the pan, the heat felt through the oven mitt would be significantly less severe. This concludes the course on getting started with OnScale Solve. If you are interested in learning more about simulation, please go to our ANSYS Innovation space and look at our free ANSYS Innovation courses, which cover a multitude of simulation topics using ANSYS simulation software.